You know what? Mufti Rafi Usmani, who is a very great friend, Mufti Taqi's older brother, he is in this position. In his Jummah Khutbas, in Darun Karachi, he's a Dawbandi. In his Jummah Khutbas, he has Dawbandis, Brelvis, Salafis, Ikhwanis, and um, you know the Ahl Hadith that come. They all come in his Khutbas. You know why? Because he's a neutral Imam. And that's what Imam's supposed to be. Uh, regarding the Sufi, just by hearing the word Sufi, Sufism, so on, some people get, you know, goosebumps. Some people have their hair standing on their heads. Some people say, Astaghfirullah Bida. What I want to say to you, brothers, is that what you've got to look at is you've got to look at the group and what they're doing. And as I said to you, there are things that are not clearly in the Quran Hadith. And I'm not going to get too deep into this because this subject alone will take about one hour. For me just to cover all aspects of what goes on. All I want to say is that there's a purity in this. If you don't like anything else, just take the purity. A lot of Sufis have the best of character, best of morals. And they have very, very good, humble ways. And they've got the absolute excellent sort of manners. If you don't like anything else, take that from them. Take the good character from them. Take the good morals from them. Take the good sayings from them. Right? If they talk about dhikr, if you, go, if you have a difference of opinion, go and talk to these shaykhs. Talk to them directly. Don't stay back and, you know, listen to gossip or a book you've read or a leaflet you've read only. Go to the, right, go to the, you know, to the actual person. Say, look, I've heard you doing this. What's your evidence? So I really haven't got the time to go into this. If you like it, like the explanation, accept it. If you don't find it's good, leave it. But what, don't do one thing. Don't just do things just to criticize people. It's so easy to say, you know, he's not doing a good job, he's not doing a good job, not, and then sit yourself and not do anything good. It's not good to do that, please. A lot of these brothers and sisters who are in these Sufi groups, and I'm not, I'm not saying all of them, with this one word Sufi, I'm not saying every Sufi in the world is okay, all right, please, please, don't take, me out of, you know, don't take my words out of context. There are many Sufi groups that are very good. There are some Sufi groups that are deviant. But to understand what they're doing, what they're not doing, you must go and you must search and do research. Sheikh Albani, rahimahullah, to understand his work, you have to go into his works. I will tell you that most of the scholars who have judged him have judged him from third parties. I, I've met few people who have judged him from his actual sources. And yes, there are contradictions in the title. Sometimes he said one is Sahih, then he said it's Da'if. There are some contradictions like that. But which scholar hasn't made mistakes? Every scholar makes mistakes. Just because of that, you can't just discredit the Shaykh. And the Shaykh, you saying that he hasn't got a chain to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I would say to you, Al-Ayyad Billah. That is absolutely incorrect. The Shaykh has studied under other shuyukh. He has got Shaykhs who studied under other shuyukhs up to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, yeah. the difference is there. I've told you in Banu, Hadith of Banu Quraiza that there was a holistic and literalist approach. That just divide got wider and wider. Today, people who say, follow madhab, don't follow madhab, they're of the same two categories, my brothers. There's no difference. It's just the divide has become wider. That's all. They're both about Hizb al-Tahrir. The question is about Hizb al-Tahrir and about them. Now, brothers of Hizb al-Tahrir, I've been close to many of those brothers. First thing I will say to you is that speaking to a member of Hizb al-Tahrir and speaking to a common person of Hizb al-Tahrir is like looking at the sky and looking at the ground, right? Same as speaking to a tablighi person off the street and speaking to a tablighi scholar is, is you know, as they say in Urdu, zameen asman ka farqe. It's a difference between the sky and the earth, right? So please, first look at who you're speaking to. Because if you might deny something by just speaking to a person who doesn't know about the group. First thing is you've got to speak to the members of Hizb al-Tahrir. If you speak to, him, to an honorable member of Hizb al-Tahrir who knows, who studied, their, their usuls, who studied their group, who knows the works of Taqiyud al-Nabahani, rahimahullah, who's looked at their <coughs> principles and the, you know, how they come together. I will tell you, I've spent several years with these brothers. You know, they have, they, they have got a lot of common things between most other people. <coughs> right? In fact, their methodology also is common with a lot of other people. You will hear the people on the street saying things that you won't hear the members saying. You'll hear the people on the street saying that if you don't believe in this, if you don't do this, then you're kafir and you're this and you're... You'll see, hear that, but the members won't say that to you, right? 
Uh, there's Dr. Abdul Wahid, who is a, a high member of the Hizb al I have regular conversations with him whenever I meet him. Very respectable, very honorable person. And what I'll say to you, look, is that the political work they're doing and the awareness that they're trying to make is a positive thing. Because many other Muslims are not doing it. I'll be honest with you, many people, you know, um, I have met in my walks of life who didn't even know about the Khilafah till they met the Hizb al But I have disagreements with Hizb al I've got several disagreements with them in their methodology, in the way they go about and so on, even with members. But those disagreements are not such that I have to say that they're out of the fold of Islam. Okay? There was a time in the 1990s that with the influence of the then leader that they had, there were certain things that were coming out of their groups. And I sat with them personally. And what I found is that you have to distinguish again between the members and between the non-members. You have to dis distinguish between the scholars of Hizb al-Tahrid and the non-scholars of Hizb al-Tahrid. Because the scholars, I, I sat with a scholar in Wales, two hours, and I had nothing but to praise him. Everything I said, more or less, we were agreeing both together. Prior to that, I was disagreeing with his um, students, who were not scholars. For months and years, I was disagreeing with them. But I didn't find an end because they really didn't have knowledge. When I went to their scholar, I found what I wanted to find. Okay, so that's what I have to say. A lot of the work they're doing is good work. Okay.